Is Free Eye Atlas decelerating as it approaches planet Earth? The mainstream understands physics-based comet behaviour by the following. A comet's tail forms due to solar radiation and the solar wind exerting pressure on volatile material as it sublimates from the comet's surface. This results in a tail that always points away from the sun, regardless of the object's direction of travel. This was the well-established understanding of comet dynamics, until now. This is mind-blowing. Observations of Free Eye Atlas have shown the opposite. Its tail appears to be trailing towards the sun, suggesting one of two radical possibilities. 1. The tail is not composed of traditional cometary gases or dust, and thus does not respond to solar radiation in the expected way. Or, this object is experiencing deceleration as if it is breaking. This is contrary to what gravity alone would dictate. And the tail is composed of material that is shedding in its forward path of motion. And this has never been observed before, and it could hint at a non-natural phenomena. Deceleration implies a loss of momentum, possibly due to internal propulsion, unusual interaction with the solar environment, or an as yet undiscovered force. Adding to this mystery is the lack of spectral features that is normally associated with comets. Typically, comets display clear emission lines in the ultraviolet and in the infrared spectrums, and this indicates a variety of materials that is associated with comets. Like volatile gases, liberated by the sun during solar heating. But in the case of Free Eye Atlas, no such emissions have yet been detected. And its tail, whatever it is, whatever this space object's tail is, it does not behave like a typical comet's tail would behave. Is it composed of some sort of exotic matter? Or could it be reflective material? possibly metallic or artificial, scattering sunlight differently. This lack of comet-like emissions calls into questions whether this object is even a comet at all, or something entirely unprecedented. The Free Eye Atlas object is around 7 miles in diameter, and that is roughly the size of the impactor that struck the Gulf of Mexico. This size makes Free Eye Atlas, the largest interstellar object ever discovered. And, intriguingly, this is the only reason that it was spotted at such a distance. This enormous size also adds weight, both literally and metaphorically, to its strange deceleration. For such a large object to slow down in a measurable way, an enormous force would be required, or a technology capable of controlled trajectory adjustments. So if this object is not natural, it is something engineered on a scale we've never seen before. Harvard's Avi Loeb is convinced that just like Amuamua, Free Eye Atlas may be a probe sent by an alien civilization. This tail behaviour by the object suggests non-passive dynamics. Its lack of comet-like emissions hints at non-natural material and its sheer size could accommodate a vast interior or artificial payload. If Free Eye Atlas is decelerating in the solar system, moving against the gravitational pull of the sun, then this may not be natural trajectory. It could, in a more speculative interpretation, be a controlled manoeuvre, much like spacecraft execute gravity assist and braking burns when entering planetary orbit. But what do you guys think about the potential of this object decelerating in the solar system? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.